We're here with the USC Flames head coach, Matt Bubba Blair, after the Flames competed in the Motor City Cup match play event uh, this past week and getting ready to head out to Vegas for another tournament next week. But coach, first looking back at the trip down to Florida overall, what were your thoughts on how the team performed? You know, I thought we performed very well. Um, you know, we played Youngstown, which was the number one seed in the first match. And, you know, we were, in, we were competed with all of them. Uh, you know, we just had one where a girl from Youngstown was four under uh, through her match. So, you know, against Kelly, which, you know, it looked a little lopsided, but Kelly played well. Um, I thought all the girls did. I was really impressed with Shivani and Stephanie. Um, they really stepped up and played well uh, in the, all three of the matches. Um, I thought mentally they did really well because our travel, uh, we had just a, 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 the longest travel day of possible to get to Orlando and didn't get clubs until uh, 12.30 Monday night with teeing off at uh, 8 o'clock on, on Monday morning. And, and they handled it well. They, they really persevered. So that's just starting to show the maturity of our team. You mentioned a couple of the, the younger players in there, Shivani and Stephanie in particular. How important is it for for those people, those those younger players, to take another step as you head into the spring, heading toward the conference tournament? Yeah, it really is going to be important for them because you know our our top three. Once we kind of get playing, we can compete with anybody in the in the conference. It's it's going to be that three four position. Um, you know they're going to have to step up and and really play well. I was really impressed. Shivani played. Uh, her last round against Creighton shot 74 if we looked at the card. So, you know, and especially on the conference course, that's going to be a that's going to be a big plus for us going into April and, and for them to step up and know that they can play. That's good. You know, the one two record doesn't quite show how we played and it shows them how how we can compete against them. You mentioned, you know, we mentioned playing on the conference course and obviously we headed back down there uh, in April, but how important was it to get, you know, three or four rounds on that same course for, for this team as you look ahead? Oh, it's, it's, it's invaluable. Um, you know, especially it takes, it's going to take away some of the nerves for some of the players that are going to be there for the first time because they saw the golf course and now, you know, practice rounds are going to be easier. We, we're not going to spend, you know, an hour and a half on grain and, and learning, you know, which way the grain goes on the greens and I mean we're just going to go down there and start getting game plans together and they have a game plan which is even better so yeah hats off to Oakland for doing this and hats off to the Horizon League for opening it up now to us to let us play and it's great I mean I can't I can't say enough about the opportunity to play four rounds on that golf course before we even get to conference. And finally, switching gears, looking ahead to the uh, trip to Las Vegas coming up here. It's a tournament that you guys played in last year as well. But what are you looking? Uh, what are you looking to see from the team in this next event? Consistency. You know, one of the things that we've really been struggling with is consistency through the team. So you know, rounds one through three, we get one good round, one medium round, one bad round. We want to start eliminating that bad round and take that medium round and make it another good round. Um, we can survive. A medium round uh, but we've got to look for that consistency players are working hard um, so we're looking for that and I'm really excited to get out to, to Vegas and uh, see what we're going to do on a stroke play event.